In lecture seven, uh, we are going to study the band diagram of solids, meaning the, the, the band structure, which is one of the most important concepts of in uh, solid physics, and also it is most necessary uh, knowledge to understand the photoelectrochemical interface. So for, uh, first, uh, let's think about the origin of energy gap you can see in the band structure of the solids. Based on the similarity as the X-ray diffraction. In the X-ray diffraction is the analytical method used for the structure analysis of a crystal, like this. So these, um, these circles indicate the atoms and when the X-ray is um, coming with some angle, it is uh, deflected. And uh, at the, under the deflection condition called the black diffraction condition, which is, um, which is equal to um, two, the uh, sine sheet equal uh, some integer Times lambda, what can be um, easy to understand that, like if you draw like this, and then equal to, so these two distance correspond to a two D sine uh, sine uh, theta. So um, this condition indicate that this wave and this wave. Um, uh, interfere interfere uh, to, to increase uh, in its intensity. And uh, similarly, that when we think about the electron wave, right? this time now uh, electron wave as we uh, discussed in the previous lectures, electron wave is also deflected and is a black diffraction condition by the lattice. Lattice means the potential was a periodical potential was uh, positive charges. And then um, uh, let's think about uh, simply one dimensional case first. So uh, we take the x direction in the lattice direction was there's a, some interval of A for each atom. And in this case, in equation one, right, the theta, in this case, theta is equal to uh, power two. And the d equal a and n equal one case. Let's simplify the equation is just uh, simply um, lambda equal to a. So what it means is, so when the electron wave propagating in the x direction, and if this one deflected here, and this one deflected here, but, and these two waves are synchronously uh, um, increasing amplified condition, right? So these two waves, so, no, not only two waves, but the other waves too. So, in a sense, the uh, one part of this wave, electron wave, can uh, interfere each other. And now, what? Uh, let's think about the the wave function in the positive direction and the negative uh, negative direction. Okay. There's a positive uh, direction, which is um, A exponential I K X, which is uh, K, in this case, um, lambda equal, since lambda equal to A, 
log the over 2 pi and this correspond to i a over pi x and similarly the negative direction of wave is exponential minus i k x equal a exponential minus i pi x and then uh, let's think about the so the wave is now going and backing and interfering each other and then let's think about the two types of the wave function which is the sum of the uh, psi plus and psi minus and the subtraction of the psi plus and the psi minus okay then just simply calculate this equation and you can obtain 2a um, cosine pi x over a and psi s equal 2i a sine pi x over a And so one of the important uh, important uh, feature of the, the wave function is if you if you take square of the wave function, that indicates the probability of the electrons, meaning the the phi uh, squared is proportional to the electron density. So just um, just uh, uh, multiplied. Take the square of each uh, wave function, and you can obtain that. Just uh, ignore the the constant part, the pi x over a, and the other side is sine squared pi x over a so uh, i would like to uh, remind you that um this part so uh, if you uh, would take this part in the x x equals zero so size so c squared has the density maximum at the positive lattice position, every positive lattice position of psi c squared has the maximum density. On the other hand, the psi s squared is a sine term and the minimum at the positive charge and in between here that takes a maximum. So it's kind of opposite trend of the the wave function electron density okay so these uh, what we are doing is now uh, we are uh, we are solved the, the two types of electron wave um, in uh, on the under the assumption of the the lattice positive lattice potential okay And then uh, what we found is we can calculate how much uh, these two type of waves, electron waves, how much the, of the, these two uh, waves have energy under the assumption of this uh, crystal potential. Right. So crystal potential Ux is uh, proportional to cosine 2 pi x over a and because um so here the lattice part there's a um, very negative potential there that's why uh, so she has the uh, highest uh, density 
On the other hand, the other other electron wave has a shoulder negative density. So, by just calculating the energy difference between two waves, you can calculate like this uh, interval, like the x u x. Psi S square Psi G square. And you can just as simply uh, calculate to obtain the value as constant actually. So what it means? This means that there are uh, there's uh, some energy gap between the psi s and psi c was a value of u zero by the overlap between the and due to the crystal potential as a wave vector of wave vector of k, which is um, what we calculate is k equal pi over a, right? So this is pi over a, which is obtained by um, from this plug deflection condition. So meaning that this y vector is uh, somehow um, you know, going back and uh, forcing backward. And that makes uh, two types of wave. And these two types of waves on a, the lattice potential is a two different energy, so energy difference. So as we studied in the case of free electron, so epsilon is proportional to the k squared. This is uh, what we learned in the dispersion relation. So in a crystal, in a crystal, at the position of the k equal, k equal to um, um, pi over a, there's a gap for energy or as a value of u0. So this, this energy gap is called the, the band gap. 